Yeah, the, the headlines changed from when I last looked. But basically, there's massive panic out there. Massive panic out there over the fact that children are getting COVID um, and um, being hospitalized as COVID. Now, remember that in the first few rounds of COVID, children basically didn't get much. So here's some of the facts. It's true. Nearly 94,000 kids got COVID-19 last week. Um, they were 15% of all new cases. Now, why is this? Well, it's primarily because COVID is now uh, attacking the unvaccinated and children are unvaccinated. And it's morphed into a, 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 a um, you know, a uh, virus that is very effective in terms of in terms of getting unvaccinated, uh, getting getting unvaccinated people COVID, and, and indeed some vaccinated people, but primarily the unvaccinated. Since children are most of the people who are unvaccinated, it you're getting a higher percentage of children. They're the ones where you're seeing the virus manifest. But if you look at the state level data, it's been analyzed by the American Academy of Pediatrics. It shows that children accounted for roughly 15% of all newly reported COVID-19 cases in the nation. 94,000 were recorded during a period, this is last week, and 31% increase over 72,000 the week before that, and 39,000 the week before that. So it's, it's spiked quite a bit over the last two, three weeks. Now, this has been increasing steadily since July. Um, after it's been declining, declined most of the uh, sound. This is nowhere near yet. Um, and this is primarily they're saying because they're not vaccinated. But the fact is, the fact is that in states where data was available, less than 2% of all child COVID cases require hospitalization. And the fatality rate, this is the fatality rate. The fatality rate is basically zero. Maybe in some cases, it's 0 0.03. Uh, it's not true. 95% of new Israeli patients were vaccinated. That's just not true. I was just in Israel. That is just, uh, that's just not true. A majority of the people being admitted into hospital in Israel, hospital in Israel, I mean, uh, overwhelming majority, are unvaccinated. And there's large segments of the Israeli population that are unvaccinated. So it's just, uh, sorry, Wanda Freeman, but that's just the data is wrong. Um, it might be true that 95% of new Israeli cases are vaccinated, but that's irrelevant because what's happening is you take, uh, parents are taking their kids in to get vaccinations. Now Israel is vaccinating children. And when they go in, they get tested. And they're discovering a lot of, non-symptomatic cases in vaccinated people of COVID. Who cares? The fatality rate among, among children is between 0 and 0.03%. That's not 3%. That's 0.03%. Basically zero. So... Uh, if you're vaccinated for COVID, and, oh, by the way, the other thing that you can see in Israel is that the vaccinated people who are getting COVID are all over 65. And they all were the first people to get vaccinated in the world, really. They were all vaccinated in January, December of January, right? So they all ha have had the antibody levels drop dramatically. They're the ones that are most likely to get, you know, my, my parents' antibody count when they did a serological test a few weeks ago was very low in spite of the fact that they got two boosts of the vaccine. For some reason, their body, it's not functioning right. They're old, right? They're in the 80s. And they're the ones that are likely to get COVID who were vaccinated. If you're recently vaccinated, if you're young and vaccinated, if you're healthy and vaccinated, you're fine. The chances of you going to hospital are almost zero. Um, 
My parents just got their third shot, so they got a vaccine boost about a week ago, which is fine because they need to get those antibodies up so they can cope. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 